All right, went on a couple little artifact digging expeditions or trips and uh, went to the Hypothesis site and then to another location, a uh, recent find. Uh, I'm going to call it the Duck Cave. Uh, I don't know what Josh and Mackie actually calls it, but uh, we, uh, we did okay at uh, both sites. Uh, so uh, come along, let's go get some artifacts. And uh, you know, there there was a little wind a couple days. Some of the audio is not that great, but you know, when you're out in nature, uh, it's not a controlled thing. So you just got to go with the flow. So uh, enjoy. We found some stuff. That's pretty cool. We was happy with it. Come on. Ask you, man, in your experience, what is the easiest material to map? I mean, do you have a preference? Or... Hmm. I'd say, uh, I don't know. Probably <laughs> obsidian is pretty easy to work with. And I get ready to say, I, I like it because it's easy to fine tune it. Yeah. I mean, pressure flakes, flies. You can make you can I've make done. a lot more. It's a lot more forgiving. You know what yeah. I mean? You can make mistakes and kind of, kind of fudge in the middle and go ahead and get away with it. I know George smells pretty nice. Yeah, I kind of. Especially if you heat it. Did yeah. I give you a piece of heated stuff? I, I believe that was Georgetown that you gave me. I think that might have been. Now was that what I made my knife out of? Still has a rind on it. Yeah. Or is that okay? Yeah. Georgetown and Edwards is pretty much the same thing. It's the same formation. Yeah. I think the only difference is Georgetown is like the, the higher grade. Oh, uh, okay. I know it comes from Texas. Yeah. And then there's a grade, like the best grade, I think they call it uh, blue, Georgetown blue. Uh, and it kind of looks like a first time. Yeah. I get it. Just about blue. I know I had a piece of mahogany, man, and I almost had something resembling an Edina. But it had a little, there was a bulge in the grain, and I couldn't, I couldn't flake it off there, man. It, yeah. it was, I wound up with a point that looked like this, <laughs> instead of, you know, what I was yeah. going for. And I took it in the house, I told Becky, I said, I can't get that out of there. I don't know if it's you know, possible or if it's my beginner or what. But uh, yeah, I got into it so much there yesterday, man. I come in and didn't realize I had all the little uh, little shrapnel wounds. Oh yeah, that you won't, man. Where it's so short. I thought about trying to do the glove thing that I see some people doing, but I yeah. don't know if I'll have the right feel for it. Then. That's me. I've tried it and I can't, man. Um, because what really I'll do just just get you a pad that you can kind of yeah, you know, using the place of the glove. Softer pad, I think it's better. Yeah, I ain't crazy about this one. Mike, we want to start looking through <laughs> so, Well, now I did kind of casually oh, glance at them, man. Got a nut stone here. I'm trying to get the light that way so y'all can see the depth of that. Close to that. Mm -hmm. You 
you want to flip it over, Josh, yeah, and see if there's anything on the other side. On the other side. Nah. It's plain. Man, that's cool. That rock was right beside me. It has been since I come over here digging. And it came out of that spot right there. So, uh, you know, we're still finding flint chips. We know there's some more stuff in here, so. We're gonna continue on. Hopefully we'll roll a big point out of here before we get done today. We'll keep our fingers crossed. All right, I'll show y'all how we did. Uh, all kinds of flint chips, debris, whatever you want to call it, byproducts, and then some pretty decent artifacts. Corner notch, side notch. Pretty sure that's the mallet, this nut stone here. Some partial scraper by face. Uh, not too bad for uh, three wild men out here, um, including myself. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. So this site is still producing the hypothesis site. So uh, yeah, we'll probably be back. Howdy y'all, um, I'm in a cave slash overhang that has been dug thoroughly, so uh, we're going to explore some other options up here at this location. Uh, this obviously isn't a hypothesis site, this is another undisclosed location, so uh, anyway, me and Josh and Mackie's going to do a little digging and uh, see if we have any luck, so... Uh, I'll get back with y'all and uh, hopefully we'll find some uh, cool artifacts. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Josh found something here. I'll let him explain. It's barely popped it out right there. We've got a little, little blade for him. I'd say it's a woodland piece. It's got that big stack on it there, that big thick place. It's flaked decent. They done all right on this side, but they... Well, that one side is pretty. It nice. is, man. That looks good. But, but that's kind of like the hallmark of woodland Mississippian period stuff. It's not real well flaked like an archaic blade would be, but still awful cool. Yep. Like a knife blade or something. Quack, quack. <laughs> I had to do it, you guys. All right. Found this critter here. Not exactly sure what it is, if it's a hand axe or what, but uh, 
pretty happy with it. Taking that puppy to the house. Stay tuned. Who will roll something else out? All right, there's how we did today. Bunch of parcels. <laughs> That's just rebel. Pretty good stuff. plan on coming back here at some point so you'll see this probably produce some pretty cool stuff unless somebody comes in here and cuts their legs out from under it's always a danger that all right crap I forgot this camera was on <laughs> <laughs> I might leave this shit right on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Come on, where's that pipe I dreamed of? Found one over here. That's a pretty good one. That's probably the best one I've found here. That's a nice one. I'd say it's another woodland piece. You see it's stacked up and thick there. It's probably yeah. a little woodland blade, but yeah. Boy, it's a nice one, though. Like a little knife blade or something that will fit into a handle. Okay. Don't, don't even know if we've been here maybe 30 minutes or better. Right here's the Afton area on it yeah, where they seen it. it. Ooh. All right, well, onward. All right, Mackie found a good one here. Uh, we're not quite sure what it is. She's a beauty, though. Josh maintains it might be a copina. I have no idea, but uh, Mackie's pretty happy with it. So, uh, yeah, good deal. That's a nice one. All right, here's how we're done today. These fellers outdone me, but that's fine, as long as somebody's finding something. I'm not going to lie, I wish I'd have found the pipe I had a dream about. <laughs> Still some cool stuff. We're happy with it. You hear anything in the background? There's some rednecks up on the ridge, so. All right. That's it for today.